Well, hello everyone. I'm going to grab a cup of tea here, as you can see, and we've got my weekly coloring planner. Now, um, I'm very happy with our progression so far through the color planner. Uh, this is going to be week number three. Now, granted, I started this one early, mainly because I wanted to play and kind of get used to this planner. And then this was week one we were able to do and uh, very, very happy about it. Again, I love these testing pages there. They kind of show my mind at work and I enjoy that process. Um, this was last week. We were able to finish that one up. So very happy about that as well. And then we're going to be moving into this week. So as you can tell, I've already started playing around. I have my little dots. So my husband gave me a stencil that he had in a planner that he bought. And he didn't tell me he had that stencil. I almost was about to buy something almost exactly like it and bingo. So, which just is fun. And it let me do all kinds of dots here on the page with some beautiful colors. Um, I'm feeling kind of that cool soft side. This reminds me of a wallpaper or a tapestry or those really almost silky type uh fabrics and so I kind of was like I love all those colors and I love this set of colors which was really neat now what am I using today we are using my handy dandy Crayolas <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram you would have already known that and we are not going to add any watercolor to this I am just going to do this whole page just plainly with just my pencils. In fact, I have a total, I think, of 18 chosen right now. So the ones you just saw, these are just my my, my brushes. But um, here's the other colors that we'll be using. And this is all of them that I have tested out at this point. Um, and I, you know, for right now, I'm going to complete the page using just these colors. And then if there's stuff left over, I'll look at that. I am toying with the idea, but I don't know of possibly putting a silver or gold gel pen to this page, but we will just see. I'm kind of hovering. Uh, gold was my first thought. And then by doing kind of this bluish gray background, almost a steely blue gray, um, I don't know. I don't know that gold is, is the color, even though I have some gold. So we'll have fun right now. Um, so I thought today I would start my coloring and just enjoy it. But rather than having you sit through a lot of this coloring because it is repetitive for each little element i thought i'd do a little bit of filming and then go through and do that element throughout the page and then come back um, so just to kind of for today probably the longest or not the longest uh one of the things i wanted to work on it's definitely not the longest the longest is is the blues what i would like to do is go ahead and get all of these leaves done uh that are kind of this I don't know, they're kind of a greeny brown gold color and I really like them. So this is what I have set over here. Now I did write down kind of the order in which I put them down just to kind of help me. I do go back and just fiddle, you know that. Um, so let me go ahead and bring you down to probably these three. We'll just do these three right for today and then I will uh, kind of walk you through what I'm doing. Now the big thing I will say always with these Crayolas is, hold on one second. There we go. That with these Crayolas, the largest thing I can say is that layering is key. Um, once I get a couple layers on this, it really starts doing a nice job, but it is all about those layers. And um, of course, I just flipped this over and I don't have this memorized as far as what color order. So again, we're going to be using this one right here. The leaf number one is what I called it, just for me to, and we're going to start with the bronze yellow. I uh, love these names, by the way. So this is just, that's the, hmm. When I say that, oh, here it is. The bronze yellow, which actually looks kind of green whenever you're looking at it, uh, the actual um, pencil itself. So I just start extremely light. It might even be really difficult for you to see any color change. You might see just a little bit. And that is because, and I'm still doing those circles because I don't want those, here we go, striations to appear. Um, and just doing my typical. 
And I kind of use this all the way, but I do leave a little highlighted spot in most of these uh, just to kind of wait and put layers on layer later. Layers on later. Uh, so we have an actually really pretty day today. Uh, we had a miserable weekend. We had snow, we had rain, it was gray, it was cold. Uh, then it got warm and now it's got chilly again. Um, but today we finally have sunshine, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I did start on this page, as you can see, uh, this weekend. But it was the long three-day weekend. So something I do want to share, there is the possibility that I'm hoping this still goes up uh, either Friday or Saturday and this page does get done this week. I'm kind of glad it's this page uh, that we're doing this week because the simplicity of it is good. Um, I'm now going to go in with that Harvest Gold and just kind of go over that green and then move it in just a little bit on the edges. So the reason I'm saying that is because both my husband and I are due to get our booster this week on Wednesday which is tomorrow, and that, you know, depending on how my body reacts, uh, I may or may not get any filming done tomorrow, plus how he reacts, because if he's home, I probably won't be doing much filming, but, or editing or any of that, so it could affect us, we don't know, I know everybody seems to be having a little bit different experiences with this, um, this particular round, uh, which is fine. All right, now I'm going to go in with my light brown. And I just want to start putting in some of those darker, kind of where I think the leaf might have shadow. It might be bent a little bit different so that it gives kind of a little bit of depth. So I just wanted to kind of let everybody know that. Um, not expecting anything, but it has taken us a while to get... Uh, we had to sign up actually almost two weeks ago uh, to get this earliest appointment. Um, luckily, Omicron doesn't look like it's quite as dangerous as we've had the others, but my husband and I have made conscious decisions not to go out too much. Uh, he does go to work, so that's more of, you know, his choice, but also, you know, he could be bringing something home, but we don't go, we haven't been going out um, we live here in Jersey and we're very close to New York City. So New York City has one set of rules, which actually we feel more comfortable, but we have to move about New Jersey. And New Jersey doesn't seem to have any masking rules anymore. They've kind of just ignored it. Our numbers are going up and I guess they've just accepted that's what's going to happen, which, you know, hey, we can make our own decisions. I'm a grown woman and luckily we are in a situation where I am not forced to go out to work. And my husband's not forced, uh, he chooses to, but they also have put in a lot of uh, COVID-related uh, safety measures where he works. So luckily that works, that has worked out okay. All right, the next one I'm gonna put in is the tan. Um, just gonna kinda go into the edges where that light area that I've not been covering up much and also just kind of bring the brown out a little bit more. And like I said, this is just me layering up and it does help slowly to start really kind of showing. Now one color I do like to add in here is the copper. Uh, it's a very pretty peachy color and if you look down here, it's heavily focused on in this flower, but I like having just a little bit in the in the other leaves and even all the way down this other flower. There's a lot of these colors I'm kind of mixing in just to kind of keep a cohesiveness, I guess. Um, and I'm going to put these right on the edge of where that lightest area is. It's just a little tiny bit of peach. Again, you don't really see that change. These uh, leaves and stuff are so small. Um, so have very many of you done this type of page in Johanna Bassford? Um, I love the thought of them and then I get intimidated by them too much. That's, that's kind of my thing. I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown and add some more shadows. Um, just because I wanna do something kind of, like I said, I'm always trying to make it look like it's 
somewhat like a fabric or something and also the part that I've, I'm kind of dealing with is my urge I can't get rid of these black lines uh, very easily and I don't know that doing the Posca trick is really what I need to be doing in this that's why I'm thinking maybe using some type of a gel pen that's colored like a silver or gold might be a way to kind of bring these down. I really thought about doing a whole dark background and then when I realized there was so much black in here that would get kind of lost in that, I was like, eh, maybe not. But if I have another one like this, I might go ahead and try the dark and just see what happens. Kind of like a, a black or a deep, deep, dark, dark brown of some sort. So I went back to the Crayolas because I love using them, as you know, but I also like the idea of, you know, tools and supplies using stuff that people might be able to afford or can get access to without having to go, you know, through five different websites or ordering everything. You can order these online, of course, uh, through Amazon and a lot of other places. But, you know, if you didn't have that resource and then... I, I like doing things that I think people can can do along with me. So we're going to go back in with the light brown. And like I said, this 100 set was like $13 at Michael's on sale. I'm going to come back in with that bronze yellow and kind of go over everything now stuff is starting to blend at this point which is really the, the magic moment I have to be really careful I don't want to push too hard because I'll just mark the paper but you are getting a little bit of good blends at this point There we go. And so that's how I'm going to do those those leaves throughout this whole page. I'm going to go off and do that and then at some point hopefully bring you back and show you the other kind of things that I'm doing in elements uh, rather than you having to sit and watch this all the way through. So I have my cup of tea. I hope that you're enjoying uh, watching somebody else color and we will be back I'm sure once this is done and ready for the next colors. So it's been a while, as you can tell, and I've, I have been working on this this week. So we are still in the week of, oh, I think I have this upside down, hold on, uh, the 17th through the 23rd. And uh, as I mentioned before, and as I was fearful of, <laughs> but kind of shocked at the same time, we did get our boosters on Wednesday. And so, started feeling kind of rough and just kind of really fuzzy brained is the best way I could describe it. With soreness, of course, at the arm where we got the shot and overall joints were achy and everything. But it really didn't clear up until probably Thursday afternoon and I still was a little fuzzy brained. Though I will say that after having the booster, <laughs> the side effects or whatever from it, uh, <laughs> were a lot milder than what I had after the second shot, but it still kind of just threw me off. So my coloring was delayed and definitely filming. So that is why you are not seeing this video until much later than normal. I like to try to get them up uh, by Friday sometime, but needless to say, it is now Saturday the 22nd and I am trying to finish this up so that I can get it out there. But what I have done is I have, as you can see right here, I have left this center area for these extra elements. Uh, colored most everything else. Feeling pretty good about it right now. Uh, it's very different for me. Very different colors. Very autumnal feeling um, colors as far as like these deep russets. So I thought I would just show you kind of quickly how I've been doing these different aspects these little elements and then sum it all up and that should be it but still very much enjoying being able to do this once a week and of course come in and chat with you so let me get all set up and we will come in and we'll just start coloring 
Uh, I have added a couple colors uh, to this. I wanted more green. I wanted more of my leaves to be green. I wanted uh, more of that in there. So I did add some green in there. You'll see that in just a little bit. So let me get set up. All right, so first I'm just gonna take out this dark brown. Now again, I'm using Crayolas. I absolutely adore my Crayolas. And I'm just gonna start putting in the shadows where I really want it to get dark. Now, um, this is a lot of layers. <laughs> this is how I did all of what you see as kind of the red pinky colored um, flowers. And uh, I, I did a lot of the, the coloring on the Thursday. Like I said, my brain was just really, it was odd. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I kept telling myself, oh, you, you weren't very sick because I didn't have fever. You know, I didn't have those kind of symptoms, but I did realize I just was not able to concentrate. So I don't know if that's a little bit of even close to what some of the people that are, um, experiencing particularly long COVID and things like that, the fuzzy brain, it makes you almost feel zombie-like as far as kind of, <laughs> I couldn't stay very motivated to do much of anything and I'd start doing something and get completely off on tangents <laughs> so not a good day for getting things done but it did put me behind a little bit in my filming and editing schedule my husband is giving me such a hard time he's like you need to go back and start working for schools again because your old bosses were nothing as tough on the, yourself as your new boss which the new boss is me <laughs> So, um, but you know what? I was really good. I did give myself a little bit of self grace. In fact, in my planner, that's what I was cultivating on Thursday. I just kind of went, you know, if I don't get these, this myriad of to do's done, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. And I am doing this <laughs> for self care and for relaxing. So, <laughs> and getting a chance to chat with everybody again. So, you know, really, I, I don't think pushing yourself and feeling like you're driven to a deadline is a lot of good self-care. So um, I did give myself a lot of self-grace that day. So something like a word of the year, I'm like, how can that really help you? Well, it's 23 days in and I've been using the word cultivate and I chose cultivate A because as you know, I am an, a recovering gardener, <laughs> an ex-gardener, a gardener that does not have a garden. Um, and I know and understand in gardening terms what it means to cultivate, to really lay a good foundation for things and to give yourself time to create that foundation. So in gardening, it would be creating soil, very good soil in which to put those little seeds. You can have the world's best seeds, but if you don't have a good soil that you've cultivated and created, you're not going to get those seeds to even sprout. So. I liked the idea because cultivate is not so much, it, it, it's a constant improving process. Uh, there's no end to cultivating. And what I really also liked is, you know, it's, it's kind of an action and I like my action verbs. So <laughs> with that all being said, that's why I chose cultivate. Now what I'm doing in between that, I'm now going to come in with my one of my favorite colors in the Crayola box, a fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> so, for me, I every day have a little box in my planner that says cultivate and then I put something there. So the day that I was talking about, I wasn't feeling really great, I was feeling a little mind fog. 
I had tons on my plate that I was supposed to do, but instead I said, cultivate self grace. And that meant I need to give myself some grace. I need to give myself some leeway to, to be not a hundred percent and to not feel I had to get everything on that to do list done. And there wouldn't, you know, it could be done at another time or not at all. It was only me that was giving myself those those time frames. So I use it for things, cultivate focus. So if it's a day that I know I look, I kind of look at my calendar and go, oh my gosh, I have so many things to do. Um, I need to stay focused during that day. I can cultivate kindness. Maybe that's because I know I'm going to be going out into public and I need to be kind to people and to not get so frustrated with them. Whoever, knows, you know, who knows, but every day, and sometimes I'll, I'll repeat, you know, that focus one, you know, that, that is a work in progress and, and I'm a work in progress and trying to get that, you know, that focus, start developing it means I have to cultivate it. I have to find ways to help me focus. And one of those is my new planner is definitely helping me focus and knowing now knowing that that's what I need. I am motivated by to do lists, um, because they can be done list. And I love being able to check things off that are done. Uh, I like being able to have the ability to push the things forward if I need to. But after a while, you have enough to do list and you keep pushing the same things forward. You just go, you know what? I need to need to focus on this. I need to just get this done. All right. So, um, let's see, what's our next color. All right. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of copper. And again, we're just layering, as you can see, um, I like a really deep layer. I also want to build up this uh, layer so that I can do my little extra little thing that I do with with markers. Um, there's quite a few of my videos that show this. So when we get to it, I'll talk about it. But there are videos that I've also done this in. All right, so now I'm coming back in with that mahogany, and we're really going to start adding some, some more color in here. Uh, I am pressing a little bit harder at this point because I want to get some more of that red in there. Now, I don't think of these as tutorials, everybody. I want you to know that. Um, I think of what I'm doing is literally us coloring and chatting, and what I'm I kind of equate it to is that if you were here at my house and we were both coloring, we would be asking each other, Ooh, how are you doing that? Or why are you doing that? Um, or how did you get that? These are not tutorials and I won't always have all the instructions. Uh, and by instructions, I mean like all the colors listed and everything, but I know sometimes after I get done, I'll get questions about how did you, you know, do this or that. And it is always easier to show when it comes to coloring than try to explain via a text how I did something. Because number one, my terminology is usually kind of different, <laughs> a little bit wonky, uh, a little bit made up, but. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the apricot uh, to do these tips and start kind of doing a back blend into that red a little bit. All right, so I'm going to try to put a little bit more red down in here, or mahogany, I should say, in each one of these. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. So. I'm adding a lot of Crayola and what it does is it kind of ends up sealing the, uh, the paper, the wax builds up, you know, eventually. Take just a little bit more of this dark brown and try to get that down in those kind of where it would be heavy, heavy shadow. Okay, 
So now that I've built that up a little bit, I'm going to take this Stabilo. And it's a Stabilo 68. It's kind of like a fine liner, kind of, well, it's a little bit thicker than the fine liner. I think 88 is their real fine liner, and then the 68 is more of a felt tip. And I am just going to go ahead and put little dots in here to kind of really make it a little bit more vibrant. And then I take and move it around and it moves ever so slightly. Now this one is, these are not moving as much as other ones that I've done. It's probably because I don't have as many layers, who knows, but it moves ever so slightly and I'm just using a dry little brush to move it around and I'm putting it right there where I want that darkest part to be. Now with Prisma colors, you can really get some movement. And like I said, I have had, so my Thomas, there, I'll put the, God, I'll put the name of the, the book that I'm thinking of. Um, I have quite a few videos where I've done this very same technique and I show it to you really well. And it's just something that I caught, have kept, caught myself doing a lot of. Uh, <laughs> And I can't help myself, you know. Uh, it is an added step, but I really like the vibrancy that I get. And it is time consuming, but so be it. <laughs> I can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> but I do think it makes it look more vibrant and just gives that little extra oomph. And a lot of times it's just because I, I don't know, I, I either because of my light, light layers, I don't get the dark, dark, darkness that I always want uh, when working with some of my, I think, I think it's just my style. So I darken it up using these little, little markers. And you can do this with uh, Crayolas as well, like super tips. Crayolas, you can do this with. Um, they don't bleed through because you have actually that kind of wax buildup too. So you, I've never had them bleed, bleed through to the other side. I'm sure if I sat here and just kept putting layer after layer, it would or could. And of course, these are not alcohol markers. These are all water-based. Now I'm just taking my little Uniball Signo, it's a gold, and I'm going to put it right around those little tops, all the way around. Alright, so now we're going to go in and start just doing these little guys. And I'm going to put in where I want the shading, and I'm using copper at this point. Yeah, You might be able to see it, copper. So it's the copper color, which is a lovely pinky beige kind of color. And I'm just kind of putting that down for the shadows. And I did it on all the flowers which looked like a daisy. So I kind of think of these as hibiscus type or passion flowers. Um, and then here, I, uh, I'm just thinking they remind me of like a form of daisy. So all of the daisies were the same. And part of the reason is I wanted to keep a fairly limited palette on this very busy kind of piece. Um, because I did think of it as like wallpaper. And it's funny because if you did this all in completely like let's say blues or just greens, it would change it up so much. But yet, you know, I'm kind of trying to keep it in the same uh, so I didn't want every flower to look completely different, but I did want the different type of flowers to look a little different. Just like with the leaves, I did some differences in the leaves. So we've started out there. Next we're going to go. Next I'm bringing in the light brown, and we're going basically almost exactly over. I'm going to put this a little bit more into the where the darker shadows would be. 
I'm not pushing really hard because I don't want to destroy that paper. You know, I want to be able to do lots of layers because that's my thing. We all have our thing. We have our comfort zone. The next one coming in with is Antique Brass. Another really neat color they have in here. All right, next is Sand. And this one I'm gonna actually bring out quite a lot into that kind of what where I've left it white and I'm just kind of doing the edges of the brown here. All right, next one is I'm bringing in the taupe. Hey, if you have all these colors, use them. <laughs> last one that, here that we're using, it's not the last one, but is the dark brown, and that is to start putting in those really heavy shadows. I'm ready to commit with some heavy shadows. Ooh. <laughs> it takes me a while before I get to that committal part. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe I like switching between colors. I don't like necessarily only having one color and going all the way around. So my philosophy is I bought all these pencils. I might as well use them. And if I use all 100 in one little tiny flower, so be it. <laughs> but that'll also explain to you why I keep saying it's not easy for me to explain how did I do something because I never do anything simple. And it, it isn't, and that's not me thinking that's the only way to do it. I envy those that I see, A, pick the first color and they, from the very beginning, make it dark enough and heavy enough and oh, I love it. I'd lo but for me, it's this, it's like right now with this changing color, just by putting in this darker color on the edges, it totally changes the look of this flower. And I kind of like that reveal, I guess. Now, we're going to go in, because <laughs> I still have some more colors, <laughs> we're going to do the khaki, but we're just going to put it ever so slightly, kind of as an ultimate blender, all the way, and then we're going to hit with a probably a color you may not be expecting, but it really kind of makes these guys look kind of cool. And... I am. I'm using this kind of as an overall blender and final, almost final layer. Yeah, it's always almost final layer. <laughs> All right. Here we come with wild blue yonder. This little punch of blue I just really like. I'm hoping you can even see it, but it is there. It ties into the background a little bit, which is nice. And because I don't have tons of layers, you just see it kind of, it, I'm putting it where the white kind of was remaining. And you get just this little punch. There we go. Whew, flower done. Now I've done that for all the, well, all the flowers that are done. I still have some more to do. Uh, I will take this green and walk that all the way back over here. I need to finish up this, which is done very similar to those. It's funny, I'm now realizing how much I've kind of left behind. I did put in some gold in with my little bugs. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same for the ones that are kind of white. i um, thinking maybe putting silver, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to go finish this up, come back, show you the final finished picture, and that should be it. It's almost done. So I'm going to go spend some time listening to an audiobook and just relaxing while I finish out this page. So I'm basically finished. Um, I tried to take a photo of this and it's not really showing all the little like the dark gray below it and all that, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I did add some silver for some of my little ants that I had and I added silver here on these little what looks like little pearls 
around. Um, overall, yeah, it's fun. It's very different. And that's what this whole, I keep saying that every, every, every week. And for that, I apologize, but that's kind of the point of the journal is for me to go ahead and do things a little bit differently. Um, I'm not sure going forward if I would do this color combination again. I think it's okay. I think the yellow on the leaves is just too yellow. I think I, I kind of didn't, don't like where they went. Uh, it seems a little flat to me, but as a wallpaper kind of look, I think it did all right. So next week, where are we going? Uh, we are moving into the, can you believe this? The last week of January, 2022. It only seems like three weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> it was three weeks ago when we started. No, it seems like it was really, really kind of a, a, a quick month. Uh, but I think that's just what life does as you get older. It just goes quicker and quicker. And so next week, it looks like we are under the sea. Uh, <laughs> So I'm envisioning probably some blue is probably going to show up here. Uh, these are all these crazy corals. The only thing I'm not crazy about this particular picture is those black lines are really, really heavy. So I'm assuming the old Posca pen is probably coming out. Um, maybe trying to create more bubbles. I don't know. I'm, I have a technique that I want to try to use. I don't know if I'm going to try it on this particular piece. Um, but I'm going to kind of go out and think about it, look around, get some inspiration, and we shall see. So that will be for next week. But for this week, we are done. I hope you had a great third week of January, week number three out of 52 for 2022. Now, that'll be fun uh, to say all year, right? And thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you are working on. And also, you know, did you get a booster shot and did you have any reactions? Um, it's funny. I felt like the reaction was a little bit stronger than, than or it lasted longer. It wasn't stronger. I am just rhyming like you wouldn't believe today. <laughs> All right, well, it's Saturday. I'm hoping to get this edited and popped up for you and check in before I start for next week. So now I've got to go off and be inspired for next week, too. Loving doing my art journal with Johanna Bassford's weekly 2022 planner. And thank you so much again, as always, for stopping by and seeing what I'm doing and hear a little bit of a chat. All right, get out there quick, fast, and start coloring those pages.